In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the land cover indicator. So the first step is to click on the Calculate Indicators button. This is the calculator icon on the toolbar. And on the window that pops up, you can choose which indicator to calculate. Pick Land Cover. The screen that will come up uh, now is the Calculate Land Cover Change box. So this is the box that lets you pick the options for your land cover indicator calculation. So remember that we're using the European Space Agency's CCI land cover data set. Uh, so you can go back as far as 1992 and, of course, as far forward as the present. So there's a few initial options here to be aware of. The first is the baseline period. So the baseline period is the period uh, that will define your initial land cover. So the way that the tool works follows the UNCCD's good practice guidance. So if you pick a baseline period, for example, from 2000 to 2014, what the tool will do is it will look at the mode. So that's the most common land cover class during that period, and that will be used to define the initial land cover. The next box is the target year. So this is the year uh, for which you are interested in calculating change. So uh, if I pick, for example, 2015, I'll be looking at change in land cover between this baseline period, 2000 to 2014, and 2015. As with all the tools in the toolbox, I can enter some metadata. So I'll call this the Senegal land cover change demonstration, because we'll be looking at Senegal. And in the notes, you can enter some notes just to remind you uh, the details of this analysis. This is always useful when you're looking back at these analyses at a later date. So I'll say demonstration for video. Click next and you'll get to the transition matrix page. Uh, so this page is very important because it uh, has a large impact on your final degradation layer. So what you'll see here are the six IPCC land cover classes, cropland, forest land, grassland, wetlands, settlement, and other land. And then you see this matrix of zeros, ones, and negative ones. So what these indicate is whether a particular land cover transition is a degradation, stable, or improvement. So for example, negative one here indicates that transition from forest land to cropland is considered degradation. If I wanted to consider the stable, I could change this to zero. And if I wanted to consider it improvement, I could change it to one. It's important that you go through this transition matrix and make sure that these numbers make sense for your particular region. We've chosen some sensible defaults here, but of course, uh, the decision that you make here is really going to vary depending on your country or area of interest. Once I've uh, reviewed this matrix, click on Next. And now I need to define the area that I'm going to look at for this analysis. Again, I'm going to look at Senegal. I could also look at an area from file, from a shape file or a GeoJSON or other uh, spatial file if that was of more interest. And now click Calculate. You'll see on screen here, Calculating LDMP Server, Land Cover Tasks Submitted to Google Earth Engine. And now if I click on the Download Results button, and hit refresh list. You'll see Senegal land cover demonstration is now running. So now we'll come back in a few minutes. This should take three to five minutes to run. And in a few minutes, we'll come back and load these results into QGIS.